he's a big trigger. Yeah. He was a trigger. And he, he turned people on in a way. The way that Obama turned people on from a place of love, he actually turned people on from a place of, like, it was, it's like ego or fear. Um, and it woke more people up, actually. Like, I, li- I literally think people now are more interested in politics than ever for, like, the first time in their life. People are like, okay, I, I actually should pay attention. I don't really know. And I know I yeah. feel that way. I feel, I feel like I've, I feel like I, I I'll get into my politics a little later because I'll probably piss a lot of people off with the last election, but, um. That's okay. That's in your chart and your purpose. <laughs> I think for, for the great conjunction portion, what I'll do is do a, a more detailed version where I have an ephemeris and give, can give people dates on everything. Yeah, and we can make graphics to go with it so, like, it's hard to not have a visual also when, because this is very hard stuff to comprehend. Yeah, and we had, and the thing is, it wasn't just, like, the great conjunctions happening. It's, like, we had a great American eclipse that happened, and the great American eclipse was Trump, basically. He was the great American eclipse. So that happened in 2017, August 21st, 2017, and that eclipse went across the heartland of America. Who voted for Trump? The heartland of America. It's crazy, too, because, like, I happened to randomly be there at the time. Brooke and I were there. In the hot, you were in, like, Texas. Right? Yeah. No weird? It's crazy. I was, I was in New York City on Fifth Avenue in front of Trump Tower. It was insane. Like, so when he won, I was actually hosting a show in Soho, and I was like, uh, this is awkward. It was, like, the most <laughs> liberal. It was at an art gallery that turned into, like, a pop-up comedy shop, so it was, like, the most liberal snobby, like, just waiting for Hillary to win so that we could all be there to take our picture with our merch. And, like, it did not go that way. <laughs> I think it was it was definitely the chaos that we needed, the chaos that was required energetically. I'm coming at it from an energy scale. I'm not coming right, at it totally. from... Totally. Well, you're talking about chart. You're talking about astrology charts and the energy that is in the impact of the charts, or, or what that... Yeah. What, the ener- what the chart's energy that... You're reading the energy... You're, yeah, okay, sorry. I've now made it more confusing for you now. Um, keep going. You're perfect. So here's this ego coming in to the White House. And here's somebody like Marianne Williamson who teaches, literally her purpose in life is she teaches love. That is her purpose. Love that and miracles. Love and miracles. But, you know, just, and, and we, and so when I saw her speak, she's like, we have forgotten about the power of forgiveness. We have forgotten totally. about. So here's literally like a woman teaching. And, and she's, by the way, it's not Jesus. It's not like she's teaching every religion basis. Love right, it's just love. Yes, yeah, just it. That's it. So the great conjunction, anytime there has been a president elected, under this energy, they have either been shot or assassinated. Um, and I can go into which presidents were, but basically there were att- either attempts on their lives um, or they were actually assassinated 100%. Um, so this upcoming election could easily lead to some sort of assassination attempt. Now, will it happen? I don't know. I'm not perfect. I'm a human on this planet like everybody else. You're just like, yeah, from what you, from what you're intuiting, from what, if, if you were going to guess, if you were going to make a guess based on your knowledge of astrology and intuition. Yes. Yeah. Or a person who has died in office. So it could be something like this. Bernie Sanders could be elected. He's old as bald. He's old. He could, if he were to get elected, it could be like he gets sick in office, you know? Or it could be, this is a very heated election. I don't think Marianne is going to win. I don't. I think she's no, I don't think so either. I think we need to just support her so that people know who she is, because I do think that she's going to evolve her career into being a world leader in a way that she hasn't been before. Yeah, and that's the thing is, like, with her chart, she is 100% meant to be doing this right now. Yeah. And the eclipses are, are creeping around uh, to her own solar energy, which is her 
authoritative energy, and that will be this summer. So, wow, yeah. We don't, we don't even know, like, you know, her her, her son is on the Star Series, and I only know that because my ex's son was on the Star Series, so I like I know about it. <laughs> but it's like the star, it's like the star of Cancer. The brightest star in cancer is at the degree that she's born. And Sirius at one point, I believe, or is the brightest star. I don't know as much about I mean, that's why it's like Sirius XM. Like, Sirius is, yes. is the fucking bomb star. So she is definitely, whatever happens after this, this is, her, this is a game changer for her life. This is a game changer for, for a lot of people's awareness. Um... But there's definitely something brewing in the water. Just the fact that somebody with this chart is even like Hillary and and Trump were 100 percent meant to be running against each other. They had like an inverse of each other's or square. Their charts were very much meant to battle with each other. She's mm-hmm. Scorpio. I mean, they look alike. <laughs> oh my God, Hillary's a Scorpio. She's a Scorpio. With She's a Scorpio such a fucking mind. Scorpio. Oh, my God. She's, love. She's just all yeah. power. Power and secrets. Yes. Power and secrets. And costumes and games. I love her. So that's definitely, like, so do you have any questions about Marianne Williamson's chart? Well, so when you say that the great, the great Conjunction is over her moon, you're like, that's really big. Remind me, why is that really big? Because she's her her lunar purpose her because okay so what let me ask you what is the most important so every sign has a planet that rules them and then there's also the moon which is up what is cancer's ruler the moon cancer's ruler is the moon so cancer is literally ruled by the moon yeah the sign is so Marianne's moon, which rules her whole chart, is going to receive a great conjunction to that lunar energy. So this is literally like this is go time. This is what you came to the earth for, girl. This is your go time. So like the the access point, this this crux is literally happening on her inner strength, on her inner guide. Yes. Which she's also protected. is, she's, she's, she's energetically actually safe. She's energetically protected because Saturn rules Archangel Michael, or is rolled, uh, is Ar- oh, that's Archangel your boy, Michael. that's your boy. That's my boy. And Archangel Michael is those who destroy the, the demon. She's a demon, she's destroying a demon. By, mm, by I love that. She literally has the sword in her hand, and she is wielding it. So she wow. is taking the demon on head first, which is, it's basically like, it's saintly. Like, wow. it's like very Joan of Arc of her. Oh, my God, I love it. She's Joan of Arc. I wish I knew who Joan of Arc was. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, she was just like a bad bitch. She fought when she was like Brienne in Game of Thrones, right? That's what I need to know. <laughs> Joan of Arc was a channeler that basically got. She was called many of things. Characters. She was basically called a witch, but she was one hundred percent a saint. She talked to God, and and I believe that this is an example of this. Cool, dude. And, Any questions, my darling? Okay, so what I think we should do is let's now watch. I'm just going to post this, whatever. We can take it down if you want. Like, so cute, might delete. Like, let's just put it up. And and let's watch. And then either later tonight or tomorrow, let's do, like, as if we're doing, like, sports. Let's do, like, a play-by-play of, like, in what ways that chart, like, in what way was her speech astrological in, in – um, like points. Does that make sense? Let's just like go through the astrology of, you know, what she actually said. I'm all 
this is like this feels aligned with purpose right now. Absolutely. Dude, Marianne, we gotta just. She's not going to be president. I know we want to say never say never. I'm a fucking life coach. Like, literally anything is possible. Crazier things have happened. So, like, I don't know. I mean, she is fucking love. But it might be a, you know, also, like, who really wants to be president? I don't know if she actually even does. Um, she just has to get her voice out there. So we got to support her because she is our sister and our leader. <laughs> okay. I'm um, going to put this online now and, like, whatever. And let's talk later. Run you later or tomorrow? Well, well, whatever. Just keep me posted. Love you, girl. Love you, bitch. Thank you. Bye. Bye.